world surrounds me. It's a symphony of buoyancy. The trio of poets, a group featuring Lexington resident Reggie Gibson, burst onto the music scene with the release of their first album in October. The trio consists of Reggie, Jenna Kirkpatrick, and Timothy Mason, who first brought the group together. He had been trying to do something like this for a while, but he couldn't find the right combination of, of people who loved this work, who had a, a sort of spiritual dimension about, about a lot of their work. Um, but also could um, could actually like each other <laughs> enough to not want to hurt each other in, in short order. And it took him years, I guess, to, to try to find the right combination. And he came to me several years ago and he said, hey man, I'd love for you to be part of this. This is an idea I had. I said, great. And so he um, reconnected me with Jenna, Jenna Kirkpatrick from Austin, Texas. Fun. Spare no expense. We know Walmart has got it all. Seats not reserved. Pick up only in person, y'all. Your only job is to wait at your local area so the unique format of the trio allows each poet to embrace their own methods of writing and performing their poetry. I typically try to play drums every day because I have to connect to a rhythm, right? Whatever um, jumpies I have, I sort of work out through playing rhythms. For poetry to work, the left and right hemispheres have to talk to each other. You have to go to the creative side that wants to synthesize everything. And you have to kind of go over to the the uh, organizing side, right? Which 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 seeks to um, to put shape and form to something. So they're constantly talking to each other if you're attempting to make poetry. And so waking up both sides of those uh, of the brain um, tends to be what I have to do every day in order to make um, my best ideas come to some sort of fruition. Um, so it's various ways. I always tell my students if um, if you can't get at it by going through the front door, go through the window, right? Dig in through the basement. Whatever it is you need to do to get the song out, that's fine. Or to get the poem out, that's fine. We don't get together as often as we can because again, there are thousands of miles that separate Tim and I from, from Jenna. But uh, we want to do more churches and we, wanna, we still want to push forward. We're looking forward to another album release um, probably next year or the year after. And we'd like to do it back here again in Lexington, I think. The Trio of Poets' self-titled first album is out now, and following is a sample of the poetry stylings of Reggie Gibson. For Lex Media, this is John Clark reporting. Henry Thoreau told civilization, yo, I gotta go, baby, I need a vacation. So he went to Walden and he had this revelation, whoa. So many of us live lives of quiet desperation, lo, and behold another old quotation captures the essence of a modern vexation. It's like the role knew that in the future, you and I would have to act in radical ways to mitigate the sad fact that because we've got to slave to keep our bills paid, sometimes it seems our minds are kind of ripe to get played by the vultures in our culture who are hoping to withhold us from anything any deeper than work while we scold you. Bye what we told you, pay what you owe her, and we'll ensure you've got a debt you'll never get over, soldier.